This is the DeWalt DWS716, and behind me is my saw, the older version, which is the DW716. It can be very confusing because there's only one letter that differentiates the two of them as far as model numbers go. Now, they're both pretty much the same saw. There are some subtle differences, but one thing that's the same between the both of them, they're both atrocious at dust collection. Now, a little while back, I designed a specifically shaped piece of silicone that folds up and goes back behind the blade of my DW716 and it attaches to the little metal bracket back there with a couple of magnets. This works really well at capturing pretty much all the dust that comes off of the machine, but only in the back. What I notice is that every time I use the saw, I still end up with a pile of sawdust all over my feet. And that's because as this blade comes down, we have perfect dust collection through the cut until the bottom of the blade actually pierces through the bottom of the material. When that happens and it actually goes below the table surface, we're actually taking that sawdust and we're shoving it down in under the table. And of course there's no dust collection back there and there's no way to route that sawdust back up to the rear where it's supposed to be. So it collects down underneath here and it pours out the front and it's, it can add up quite a bit. Now, DeWalt tried to fix this a little bit. They put this plastic shroud here and that helps keep the sawdust sort of contained, but it still spills out the front. And you can see when that blade goes down, it's still just kicking out sawdust all over the place through here. There's still nothing really to contain it or especially get rid of it. Now, they also tried to show some love to the dust collection in the back of the saw, and they now have this little boot here, which attaches to what is now a plastic bracket, where on the old saw, it was metal. Some of you guys have brought this to my attention because you've tried to use the silicone dust boot from my saw with the metal bracket on the plastic bracket, and apparently, magnets don't stick to plastic as well as they stick to metal. There is a way to do it. I'll show you how I also made a new bracket. We'll touch on that here in just a second. At any rate, in my experience, the new dust chute system that they have on the newer saws doesn't do a whole lot better than what they had on the older saws, which was nothing. Now, over the course of the last week, I went out and bought myself an easy bake oven. I learned some CAD software and I decided to tackle this whole dust collection problem once and for all. And the end result is this. This is a new throat plate, which is gonna go in here and replace the one that came with the saw. This throat plate accepts zero clearance inserts. So we have a nice solid piece of plastic here with a nice dovetail slide. This is gonna go in here and click right into there and we can cut a brand new zero clearance for whatever blade it is that we want. And of course we can take that out and replace it if we want to use a different blade. But the key to this whole thing is this boat looking thing. This is actually a dust shroud and it clicks right inside here like that. We'll put some CA glue in there to hold the two together. And then this is gonna drop right inside of here and that's going to capture all the dust that goes typically underneath the blade and it's gonna bring it back up and suck it back up into our, well, abysmal dust collection. Now to install it, all I gotta do is take the six T20 screws out of the factory insert and set them aside so we don't lose them. We're going to reuse them. I'll take the old insert out, then I'll take the new insert over to the table. I'll turn it upside down, lay it flat on the table. I'll put some CA glue inside the female side of these little alignment tabs, and then I'll drop the dust shroud right over the top of it and hold it in place until it dries. The dust shroud is made so it can only go on one direction, so it'd be really hard to screw this whole operation up. Once those two pieces are fully bonded, I'll just take it right over to the saw, slide it right in, and then use those old screws again to fasten this back down to the machine. Then I can make my first cut, cutting right down into that zero clearance insert and creating a nice blade width curve I don't have material falling down into the blade and I end up with nice clean cuts. Now that's on the DWS saws. The DW saws are gonna install the exact same way, but they are entirely a different product and they are not interchangeable between the two saws. As much as these two saws are similar, the overall working geometry of them is a little bit different and so they're not interchangeable. But we'll take the old insert out, we'll set the screws aside, we'll assemble the insert, we'll drop it in, we'll screw the screws back in and make ourselves a nice zero clearance insert. All right, the idea was is to make a whole bunch of cuts and then remove that insert and show you guys how much was actually left inside that dust shroud. But I cannot do this anymore. I don't know if it was picking up on camera, but there's dust everywhere just off three cuts. So let's take a look at the backside here, at least of this saw, 
and we'll see if we can fix it. Now on the DWS model saws, we have this plastic bracket and this dust chute. We can actually take this secondary dust chute piece out since it's not doing a damn thing anyways, and we can put a silicone boot on here fairly easy simply by reusing the screws and the holes on this bracket itself and putting the whole thing back together. Now, if you don't want to mess around with the bracket, I did create a whole new bracket. It'll be 3D printed just like the other parts. The bracket will fit both saws the same, and there's provisions already for two screws to go into, similar to the plastic bracket on the newer DWS saw. Now, I know when I showed the dust collection boot on the DW716 with the metal bracket, a lot of folks said they weren't quite sure how well it would work with magnets. It wasn't a very secure connection. Replacing this bracket eliminates the whole magnet situation, and instead, you'll get two screws to put in there instead. That being said, moving forward, if you order just a dust collection boot from us and it has two little holes punctured in it, that's what those new screw holes will be for. That way you don't have to try and find and locate those holes and put the puncture holes in it yourself. Now for me, after having spent enough time with both of these saws doing all the testing, I prefer even the new saw with the swapped out bracket. The swapped out bracket, the dust collection boot, and the zero clearance, this table is essentially clean in comparison. There's still some little bits of pieces here and there, but all the fine dust that's scattered, all the big chunks of everything, all of that is just about gone. There's nothing at my feet. This is actually really cool, and it actually makes me want to use the miter saw, which is sort of how this whole miter saw dust collection thing came to be to begin with. I just can't stand the dust. I also think it's super cool that when you watch it back on film, you can actually see the turbulence poles that sawdust from inside the dust shroud and sends it up into the dust chute. I think that's super cool. Again, I've been working on this nonstop for at least a week, maybe a week and a half, trying to figure out how I was going to solve this problem, and I think we've done a really good job. Now, I think I mentioned it already, or you probably figured it out by now. We are going to have these parts and pieces available for sale on the website, inspirewoodcraft.com. I'll leave links down below for those interested. Now remember, these two are different saws. There's a lot of things that can be swapped from one saw to another, but this insert is not one of them. They will not play nicely together. For one thing, the DW716 has to come out just a little bit farther. It's just the geometry of the saw. Also underneath the deck is built a little bit different. Once again, the geometry of the saw says that has to come forward. So that one's a little bit longer and it won't fit in here. The other thing that I thought was very interesting, and this is just sort of a nerdy thing, is that the blades aren't actually in the middle of the throat plate and they're not offset to the same distance on either saw. So when I put a saw blade in here and I bring it down to the middle, it's not actually the middle, it's actually offset. So once again, if you get the wrong one, your blade's not gonna land in that offset that I've already created for you, that hole in the actual throat plate. Hopefully that makes sense. New replaceable inserts will be available as well. The kit is gonna come with the throat plate, an insert, and then of course, the dust shroud that attaches to it. And again, you just kind of click them together with some CA glue. You can use accelerant on it and it doesn't hurt the plastic. I've tried, I've done it, and it works great. Slide the thing in there, use the old screws, screws you're good to go. The bracket, should you choose so, same thing. Use the old screws from the one that you took out and you've got the perfect system. Now, you guys gotta try and take it easy on me. I only have one 3D printer and while we finally have this design nailed down and it's a pretty fast printer, it still only prints so fast. So think of this as in a, almost like a pre-order in a way. Everything will be up on the website, but it's gonna take a little while to get these things out. So please be patient. If you guys are sitting around wondering where your package is, feel free to shoot me an email. Me or my wife will reach out back out to you and try to help you with where things might be. But again, I can only print so many of these things in a day. Might be time to get another printer, especially because next, we have to get that one taken care of. The DeWalt 779-780, I've gotten so many requests for dust collection and the like on those saws that I can't keep up with the email. So that guy's next now that these guys are out of here. Thanks so much for watching. As always, hopefully I have helped you guys in all of your dust collection needs with the DW and DWS 716. And we'll see you guys in the next video.